Hello, it's Jack Sixteen here, and this is a look at the Titfield Thunderbolt from Hornby. Now, I pre ordered this in uh, February, and it was set to be out, I think, on the anniversary. I'm not so sure if the anniversary was la um, Saturday, which would have been the 29th. Um, but I think the an the actual anniversary is June, so I'm not too sure what happened now, but you know what it won't be like. But anyway, it's here now, and there's the set there, what you get with it, and you also get the film, of course, which is only in a little card case, which a bit weird. Um, I was quite well, I'm not disappointed then with this set. I mean, the model that comes with it, really nice model, and the two wagons are. Uh, obviously, it's not accurate to the film. The film's completely different because when it's pulling the uh, conflat with the uh, old house on, uh, the old like shed, old coat shed, um, it's actually the original tip for the board, the old one. So, yeah, but. There's a few things I don't like about it. One is card case. Be nice to have a proper DVD case and that. And also uh, the packaging, like it was just all chucked in there. I think it would have been better to have some sort of explaining in that. After you get a certificate and a poster, but I don't know. There's some about it I didn't like, and I think it is the packaging. But anyway, the loco is here, 14XX, 1401, uh, obviously it's got the GWR painted out, you can just about see. It's got these horrible big couplings on, which is quite weird, because the old 14XX's off on B have a smaller coupling than that, like that pole original coupling. Uh, and obviously you get this, uh, come flat with the shed on, your coach body, which is basically just... One of the only be small four wheeled coaches, and you get a towed brake van, which is very nice. Um, all these wagons will be not messed with, like I do change all the couplings on them, but this will be the set of stay as it is. Uh, it does run, we'll show you running it in a minute. I'll just show you the certificate. So, here's the certificate. I put it in the cabinet face now, certificate of authentication, limited edition of 1000, and as you can see down here, mine is 89 of that 1000. Signed of course, 60th anniversary of the film, and I think I'll logo that, and then here's the poster. Poster is very nice, sorry about it, light. Um, yeah, I do like the poster, I think that's quite good. The comedy year of the year, the Titfield Thunderball. Um, Stanley Holloway, George Reef, uh, Norton Wayne, and John Gregson. Uh, the film is really good. I mean, if you haven't seen it, I suggest go not just buy the set, you can buy the set if you want, but you can get the Titfield Thunderball on eBay, the actual film. And I think. It's a really good film, one of the best railway films done. Not the best, because my favourite's always been the Railway Children. And I have a few other independent movies of railways and that. I did Elizabeth from Express. Um, a few like that. So, yeah, let's have a run in. Now, if he's on the inner track, uh, we'll move the box, or else we'll just have a deadly accident. Kill loads of people, like always. <laughs> I haven't done that in years. <laughs> so there you go. Runs very smoothly. Does that on that point. I'm not too sure why. I've cleaned it. I don't do it on any of the other points. The viaduct scene will be uh, worked on next week. Uh, 
and yeah, that's the tip for your Thunderbolt. So I do recommend this set. Um, yeah, I do recommend it. Just I wasn't too happy with the packaging, but then again, it is a 1B, and it's not like it was a very expensive set. It did cost me £99 off Atoms, but I'm a fan of the movie, and I buy stuff to keep, not to uh, use and sell in years to come. Hence why I got so much stock. So thanks for watching. Go and pick up if you want, or not, but still a good set for the money. Thanks for watching. Bye.